Hi, everybody, and welcome to this episode of TensorFlow Meets. I'm delighted to be chatting with Sergio Guadarrama. Mm -hmm. You're from the TensorFlow Agents team, right? Yeah. So Now, you did a talk at the TensorFlow Developer Summit mm -hmm. around TF Agents. And could you tell us all about what TF Agents is and what it does? Oh, definitely, yeah. So TF Agents is a reinforcement learning library for mm -hmm. TensorFlow that we have created inside Google to solve many of the problems that we have. Like we were struggling to get all these RL algorithms that they're publishing every day yeah. to get it right, all the little details. So we decided to create this library with a lot of tests to make sure everybody can use it. OK. Mm -hmm. So anybody can download uh, TensorFlow agents, play around with it, all that kind of stuff. Now, you mentioned it's about reinforcement learning. Yeah. Now, to most of us, we kind of know a little bit about reinforcement mm -hmm. learning. But could you kind of tell us what it really is and what it's all about? So the main idea behind reinforcement learning is like, when you interact with some environment or some game or some task, mm -hmm. you're going to play different actions, and then you're going to get reward when you do the things correctly, okay. and then you're going to get negative reward when you think the th uh, things incorrectly. I and see. from that, you can learn. Okay. Basically, on that reward, you can learn. So it's, it's almost like the way a real person learns. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like a person learns when you get rewarded and things like that. You know? right. it's, yeah. it's actually inspired from that. I see, cool. So now one of the things that you spoke about in your presentation, mm -hmm. and we have that on YouTube for people to watch, um, but one of the things you spoke about mm -hmm. that I thought was really cool, and you showed like a breakout style game where yeah. there's the wall, and mm -hmm. there's the bat, and there's the bouncing ball. Mm -hmm. And like, how does that work from a reinforcement learning perspective? So yeah, in that case, what happened is like the agent will look at the environment, in this case, the game, like see where the bricks are, where the ball is, and okay. make a decision. Like, where should I move the pallet? To the left or to the right? Okay. Make sure the ball doesn't fall. Okay. And then by playing multiple times, sometimes it will fall. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it will learn when it let it fall, it, you don't win, you lose. <laughs> so you have to keep the ball moving up and breaking all the streaks on top. Right. Now, so like, how does that work from a TF agent's perspective? Like, mm -hmm. is the environment there the, the game board? Or? Yeah, it's already predefined. You can load it. We have already a lot of environments defined for you. Mm -hmm. So you can just load like all the Atari games, OpenAI, DeepMind Control. Many of those things are ready to go. Cool. But you can also define your own environment. When you have a specific task, we make it very easy to bring it in and define your own task to solve. Now, in something like the breakout game, for example, the reward is the score, yeah. right? So as you, as you knock off a brick, your score mm -hmm. goes up. So how does it see that? How is that like getting labeled? Is it reading the raw pixels on the screen, or is it how, how does that actually work? So in that case, it's actually giving from the game. OK. In other cases, it's more complicated. Like in a recommender system, it will be based on the interaction with the user, for example. I see. OK, cool. Wow, interesting stuff. Now, this is all open source that you said, yeah. right? So it's on, what was it, github.com slash tensorflow slash agents? That's it. That's correct. And uh, now I noticed when I was like poking around in mm -hmm. there that there's a bunch of like collab notebooks. Mm -hmm. Do you have any that you'd recommend people to play with? Any favorites? I mean, I think the best one is to start is like the DQN carpool. It's okay. Like it's a full sample. You can go through all the steps. And you can see the videos, you can play around with it, you can modify it, see what happened, and how it solves to keep like a, a small carpool keeping oh, the balance. Interesting. How long does it take to train that? Hey, that's the one takes a few minutes. Oh, it's really? Very, just a few minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. So reinforcement learning in a notebook with yeah. TF agents, yeah. and it takes a few minutes to help mm -hmm. me predict the carpool. Yeah. Wow. OK. Any others that people should check out? Yeah, the other thing is like we are looking forward to the community to okay. contribute like new environment, new tasks, or new algorithms mm -hmm. for people who have new ideas to contribute. And we are you know, looking forward to our pull requests or GitHub issues. OK, nice. Have you seen any like scenarios that excite you? Oh, yeah. We apply to some of the robotics tasks. It's very you know, interesting to see a robot actually learning how to grasp objects, how to move around. Mm. That, you know, that's you know, the first time you see actually doing the task that you, right. you know, try is like, very rewarding. Cool, cool. I'll look out for them. So if somebody wants to get started with this, mm -hmm. where should they go? So they can go to GitHub TensorFlow slash agents. Okay. And over there, they can find all collabs, examples, and everything, and download the code from there. OK. So they can just kick the tires and have fun with it, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Cool. I'd love to see what, what kind of things people will produce. Yeah, me so, too. Yeah, already the agent plays Breakout better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thanks so much, Sergio. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. So, and thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of TensorFlow Meets. If you have any questions for me or any questions for Sergio, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to check out his talk at the TF Dev Summit that you'll see also on this channel. So thank you.